To get the most from AI, you want to think about it in terms of the roles it plays in your daily workflow. The most important step of my who, why, what, how prompting framework is to assign the chatbot a role. And as I often say, the best way to leverage AI right now is by creating custom GPTs, which are basically reusable specialized roles. So let's look at the 10 roles that AI should play in everyone's daily workflow. You can use them with any of the top general purpose AI chatbots, but I definitely recommend using that who, why, what, how prompting framework. And if you haven't seen that tutorial, it's linked in the description. But like I said, the best way to apply these roles is by creating custom GPTs, and that'll be my next tutorial, which may already be published by the time you see this one, but be sure to subscribe on YouTube and productivity.nexus. And also on Productivity Nexus, you'll find a cheat sheet version of this guide with all of the sample prompts and instructions available to copy and paste. And of course, my list of the top AI tools by category, and those categories actually align with these roles. So first up, we have the copy editor. Whether it's a newsletter or a document for a client or just an important email, I run every piece of text I write of any consequence through AI. I have a custom GPT pre-configured with the instructions, you are an excellent copy editor and an expert on English spelling and grammar. I will provide text and you will identify spelling or grammar errors. You will not make stylistic recommendations. You will only identify spelling or grammar errors. And then I can tag that copy editor GPT and say something like, identify spelling or grammar errors in this text, and then paste the text. And I also ask it often about a single phrase. So I'll say, tell me if the following sentence is grammatically correct. I'm mostly wondering about the word nurtured. Suggest better alternatives. And then I'll paste the sentence. And I'm continuously learning from AI chatbots. Throughout each day, as questions emerge, I summon my team of AI tutors, which are custom GPTs that are primed for teaching and specialize in particular subjects. So for example, I have one for JavaScript and another for the Notion API. And to configure them, I'll use instructions like, you're a professor of computer science specializing in JavaScript. I'm your student learning JavaScript. I've achieved intermediate proficiency you will help me master JavaScript by answering my questions as I encounter challenges. And summarization was my original favorite use of AI. And I still use it to summarize content every day. And you can prime any of the top general purpose chatbots for summarization and then paste or upload the content. I like to request the key points as bullet points in complete sentences. But my favorite approach is the Zapier Agents extension for Google Chrome, which can summarize the page I'm currently viewing, answer questions about the content, and if I want, send that information to other apps. And for PDFs, Adobe's Acrobat extension can summarize, as well as analyze and derive insights from documents. And then the copywriter can write content for a broad spectrum of needs and based on a variety of prompts and supplied resources. And here, the full who, why, what, how prompting framework is really important. You can have it compose an email or a document or website copy based on a specified objective and audience. You can supply an outline for it to follow, or conversely, you can have it create an outline for you to turn into copy with your own writing. You can supply your own draft and ask it to reduce the length or adapt it to a specific style or make suggestions to make it more effective towards your objective. And you can have it repurpose content for different needs like converting a document to presentation slides or a blog post to social media posts. So a good primer for this versatile copywriter is you're an excellent writer with perfect English grammar. You can write in any requested style, tone, or format. You excel at extracting key points from text for repurposing for other media. And then you can submit a prompt like, below I've pasted a guide to finding the top automation opportunities in your workflow. You will simplify it by shortening it and using layman's terminology. In the style of Ernest Hemingway, you will use short, direct sentences. And I also use my copywriter GPT as a thesaurus. I'll say, list 10 better terms for things in the following sentence. So along with ChatGPT, meeting assistants are one of the primary gateways into AI. 
They can transcribe and summarize and create action items from your virtual meetings in Zoom or Google Meet or other services. And afterward, you can chat with them to ask questions about and analyze your meetings. I really like Otter for its versatility beyond note-taking, but Fireflies is another popular one. And Granola has been praised a lot recently for its approach to privacy. And you'll find all of these tools and others in that top list of AI apps on productivity.nexus. And you can provide AI various types of data for analysis, like sales data, the activity of your website traffic, or past performance of an investment you might be considering. And with that data, AIs can generate summaries, identify trends and make predictions, and create charts that visualize the data. They allow you to chat with the data and request reports using natural language. So as a primer, you could provide the instructions, you're a data scientist who excels at extracting trends and insights from any data set. From those trends and insights, you can make accurate predictions. I will provide data which you will analyze to fulfill my requests and answer my questions. And with tools like Zapier, you can connect AI to your data sources and configure reports on a regular schedule. And here's one I wish my parents would learn to use. I have a whole geek squad of custom GPTs for troubleshooting the sorts of tech problems we all encounter on a daily basis. One specializes in Apple products and another in the Google suite of enterprise apps. And priming them is really straightforward, I'll say. You're an expert in Apple products, including macOS, iOS, and watchOS. You'll answer my questions to help me learn these operating systems and resolve issues that I encounter. And it's really pretty amazing how they walk me through the resolution to most issues. And then the strategist is about as versatile as the copywriter. They can reflect the roles of advisors in the real world, like advisors for your business or nonprofit or financial advisors. So you could say, you're a successful entrepreneur and you coach aspiring entrepreneurs. As I build my business around a novel idea, I'll ask you questions with plenty of context so you can help me make choices to maximize the success of my business. My key performance indicators are revenue and customer volume. And at a more granular level, AI can prioritize initiatives in your pipeline, compose strategic plans, and fully scope out projects. And the researcher is the newest role to enter the mix, but it might be the most impressive. And that's thanks to the deep research features that have rolled out recently by all of the general purpose AI chatbots with access to the web. What they do is, using that web access, along with advanced reasoning capabilities, they autonomously conduct comprehensive, multi-step research. They gather information from sources across the web and then analyze and synthesize it in a detailed report with citations. So after enabling the deep research feature, you could say, compile a research report on the impact of AI on jobs. Include past and present impact as well as projected impact. And then lastly, regardless of your own role, you can benefit from AI image generators. At the very least, you can have a ton of fun with them. With tools like DALI and ChatGPT, Google's ImageFX, and my personal favorite, Ideogram, you can create really stunning photos, illustrations, and even infographics that bring to life presentations, documents, websites, and any other material you produce. So in my video on the who, I, what, how framework, I used images generated by Ideogram to convey the notion that context points the AI down the right path and constraints keep it on track. So you can see how these 10 essential roles of AI can really boost the productivity and efficiency of everyone's daily workflow. And as you incorporate them into your own workflow, you'll want to reference the cheat sheet and list of top AI tools on Productivity Nexus. And be sure to subscribe there and on YouTube so you don't miss my guide to creating custom GPTs for these roles using the Who, I, What, How framework.